Good morning. As we gather to celebrate the Mass this day, let us be aware of the Mass intentions. For Milagros Macale, Cecilia Encarnacion, Maritza Broek, Stephanie Galineas. Also for all first and frontline responders, and indeed all who are in need of God's healing power and blessing this day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My sisters and brothers, gather this day, giving thanks and praise to Almighty God. We once again open our minds and hearts to his ongoing call to mercy, healing, and compassion. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Lord, be near to those who call upon you, and look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy, that cleanse from our sins, we may persevere in living a new life in you, through Christ our Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O islands, Listen, O distant peoples, the Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing, Uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord. My recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed, formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing of your salvation. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb, you are my strength. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John.
reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen. Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, at a loss as to whom he meant. One of his disciples, one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. After Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, What you are going to do, do quickly. Now none of those reclining at table realized why he said this to him. Some thought that since Judas kept the money bag, Jesus had told him, Buy what we need for the feast, or to give something to the poor. So Judas took the morsel and left at once, and it was night. When he had left, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, where I go, you cannot come. So now I say it to you. Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen. Amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. In yesterday's gospel, we were given the dichotomy of Mary and Judas. We were challenged to look within ourselves and see if we were able to be focused upon Jesus, not for our own personal gain, but because he has opened our lives to the possibility of living a new life in him. Today, we see that Judas is now on his way, motivated by his own greed, the unfortunate lens through which he sees every aspect of life. He now heads off to gain his next prize, 30 pieces of silver. Peter is curious about Jesus' statement of betrayal. He seems to be concerned for the potential disintegration of the group, as well as his own loss of prestige among the other disciples. He is concerned that Jesus might be leaving him and the other disciples when he says, where I am going, you cannot follow. Peter reaffirms his desire to follow Jesus and, of course, to share in the kingdom that Jesus has talked about. He boldly and publicly makes his desire known when he states that he will lay down his life for the Lord. But Jesus is not impressed by mere words. Not only does Jesus read the heart, but he is keenly aware of how the heart can lack genuine commitment especially when intellect and emotion infuse it with indecisiveness. Jesus even goes so far as to tell Peter that he will deny him three times. We know from the post-resurrection accounts that Peter will be forgiven for his denials because he will come to believe in Jesus as the Christ, a belief that is motivated not by emotion or intellect, but by a belief that can only come from the very depths of the heart. Like Peter, 
It is in the depth of our hearts that we too find the greatest power that motivates our daily life of discipleship, living in and for Christ. As we journey through Holy Week, let us take time to reflect upon our own motivation for calling ourselves Christians. What truly motivates us as followers of Christ? Are we simply motivated by emotion or intellect or by how others view us? Or will we, like Peter, when he encounters the risen Christ, be motivated to follow, love, and serve the Lord on a daily basis, regardless of what others may think about us? Gathered this day in faith, we offer our prayers of petition and hope to the Lord who truly hears and answers. For peace in our world, may God pour out the spirit of love and compassion so that all governments and nations may work together to bring healing and peace to our world. May all that divides us be put aside and may we live as the children of God. We pray to the Lord. For those we love, family and friends, whether near to us or far from us at this time, may God's grace keep us always close in heart, thought, and prayer. We pray to the Lord. For a deep awareness of the signs of resurrection that are always around us, may we find ways to recognize the risen Lord through the courageous words, actions, and prayers of others who bring us hope and strength on a daily basis. We pray to the Lord. And for those prayers, hopes, and petitions, we hold this day in the silence of our hearts. Merciful God, in your kindness, hear the prayers we offer in faith this day. Lead us from the darkness and doubt into the light of faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that this, our sacrifice, and the sacrifices of our own lives may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, look with favor upon our sacrificial offerings this day, that they may assist us in our ongoing conversion of mind and heart, and be for the world a source of healing and peace. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. 
for you have given us your children this sacred time of year for the renewing and purifying of our minds and hearts. By the power of your spirit, we learn to control our desires so that as we encounter the things of this passing world, we learn to value and hold on to those things that will last forever. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are indeed holy, and from the world's beginning are always at work, so that the human race may become holy, just as you are holy. Look upon our offering and pour out upon it the power of your Spirit, that it may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom we have become your sons and daughters. Though we once were lost and not able to approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and was nailed to the wood of the cross for our salvation. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth, which would become the everlasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when summer was, supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood that would be shed upon the cross, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and lasting peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead. And looking forward to his return in glory, we offer you our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles you and the human race. Compassionate Father, look kindly on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as we share in this one bread and one chalice, we may be gathered into the one body of Christ who heals every division. 
Keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with your servant, Pope Francis, Gerald and Alberto, the bishops of this diocese. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then, freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. United this day in voice and heart, joining Christians throughout the world with faith, hope, and confidence, we once again echo the prayer of the Savior. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church gathered here this day, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. My sisters and brothers, let us offer to those around us, keeping that safe distance, to those who are near or far, but always in our hearts, truly offer them the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My sisters and brothers, at this time, I invite you to pray the prayer for spiritual communion.
Let us pray. Lord, nourished by your saving gifts, we ask for your mercy, that through this sacrament we may share in the fullness of eternal life, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the grace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you, remaining with you now and forever. Our celebration is ended. Let us go forth in love, in prayer, and in spirit, sharing the peace of Christ throughout the world. My sisters and brothers, as these days have turned all of our lives a little inside out, we apologize for not having a letter sent to our parishioners, to our families and friends throughout the Holy Week services. Information certainly is available on our website, but also if you'd care to join us along with your family and friends either near or far, we will celebrate Holy Thursday Mass at 7 p.m. On Good Friday, Liturgy of the Word and service will be at 7 p.m., with the Way of the Cross being shown at 12 noon. On Easter Vigil, we will begin at 8 p.m. We wish you and yours a very blessed Holy Week and truly a blessed season of Easter and the hope of the resurrection. May God bless you always. <laughs>